and this is the part two of the basic knowledge of periodic maintenance and it's also a part of a made up of a vehicle because vehicle consists of a lot of basic components so last week video we are continuing and we complete it and what makes a car even complete to move this is Eric Auto Center. If you are here and haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so to subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell to stay updated so that you won't miss any video on this platform. Moving on, we are going to continue about the episode, which is part two. And what are we going to discuss is we are going to discuss about car warning light. Warning light that appears on your dashboard or we call it tachometer when you switch on your key or even when you are driving you encounter a lot of problems which may give you a signal on your dashboard these are the lights we are going to discuss we are going to explain them how they are what are the importance of those lights and how to give you know when there is a fault and what are the meanings what are they mean what are they defines what are the purpose of those lights in your dashboard so every single warning light is going to explain in this video stay tuned number one we have what brake lights we have seat belt lights both driver side and passenger we have battery light we have engine check light and then we have fuel light six is oil light number seven is abs light number eight is uh, door light number nine is uh, airbag light number 10 we have timing bed light and then number 11 i mean wiper wash light so these are the light we are going to explain them so let me quickly start with uh, the warning light what is warning light warning light is a light that illuminates or flashes when there is a trouble in a system replenishment or replacement is required or to help the driver drive safely so this is the kind of light we are going to talk about it also helps you to discover or figure out when there is a problem in your car so these are the main purpose of what warning light now light colors are divided into what red or orange by the level of emergency or number one is the brake system warning light the functions of brake system warning light it illuminates when the parking brake lever is applied it illuminates when the brake food level is low it illuminates when the vacuum of the brake pedal or lines for diesel engine is low. It illuminates when there is a malfunction in the EBD or ABS system. So this is a definition or the main functions of what brake light. Now we are going to watch seat belt. Seat belt reminder is more important, and sometimes people don't care about seat belt because they think. Uh, we are driving by our own I mean rules so but there are some countries if you don't fasten your seatbelt you will be charged or I mean they will process you to court because it's it is the safety of your life when there is an accident or a crash the only thing that can save you the seatbelt so we have to use our seatbelt regularly when we are driving so moving on we have discharge warning light the discharge warning light is when you watch on fasting it. So it illuminates when there is a malfunction somewhere in the charging system. Yes, it illuminates when there is a seatbelt, when the seatbelt, it, il it illuminates when the seatbelt is not fasting. Number three is the battery light, which is discharge warning light it will meet when there is a malfunction somewhere in the engine system whether the alternator is not charging or there is a short wire circuit maybe there is a trigger or fuse or whatever a whole lot of things these are the battery lights importance of it 
we also call it discharge warning line. That is the technical name. Moving forward is uh, number five. We have fuel light. Number four, we have engine check light. Yes, my function indicator lamp. Number four, we have my function indicator lamp, which is called engine check light. It will mean when there is a malfunction in the engine control system or transmission port system. Engine control system like sensors, we call it attractors, like control board, all the electrical system, every attractor component on the engine concerning electricals. This light will appear to give you warning that there is a problem in the car. So let's take note about that. We have number five, fuel level warning light. Fuel level warning light is also more important. When there is a low fuel in your car, it, it, is, it is not good to drive always in a low fuel in your car because it may disturb, it may destroy your pump, it may destroy your engine as well. So always you have to get enough fuel in your tank to I mean, drive safely and conveniently. So the importance of it is that uh, it eliminates when the fuel in the fuel tank is close to empty. That is it. Moving forward, we have oil light. Oil light, low engine oil pressure warning light. It will need when there is pressure of the engine oil drops. The level, the oil level is low. Or when there is a problem from the oil switch or the oil pump. It may work, give you this kind of warning light so that you may be able to. So whenever you see your oil light is displaying or flashing on the tachometer or the dashboard, make sure to park, check it before you continue wherever you want to go. Yes. Number seven is the ABS warning light. It illuminates when there is a malfunction in the ABS system. And number eight, we have open door warning light, which you call door light. It will illuminate when there is a door not closed. It will mean when a door is not closed. That is it. Or some of the switches are not good. Number nine is SRS warning light, which we call uh, uh, airbag light. It will mean when it will mean or blink when there is a malfunction in the SRS airbag system. Number ten. Number ten. We have time bed replacement warning light which is more important because before the driver can make a mistake for turning there to I mean cut or tear there is a light that indicates or give you warning about one or two months meaning that there is a special interval for you to change it most of the driver didn't even care about this at all so sometimes it lead them to I mean a big problem and it caused a lot but whenever there is a turning bed problem make sure it will affect your valves even the engine itself so avoid this at all costs. It will mean when there is a distant driven which is the replacement timing of the timing belt. And the last you fuel warning light system. It illuminates when the water level in the fuel filter reaches the prescribed limit. Now we have inspection interval. Inspection interval is 10,000 kilometer, six months or every six months. That means whenever you perform an oil change make sure to inspect it and make sure check it whether there is a need to change or not not all fuel filters are meant to change every six months some are even more than that but it depends the type of fuel filter you buy you use it depends the type of fuel filter you use and the quality that is the thing if you buy genuine oil filter you may use it for long distance but failing to do so you know once whenever you buy a counterfeit fuel filter you are attracting i mean program to enter into your injection pump and the injectors that is it so if you buy a genuine one it's for your own good if you think you cannot buy it and buy any other ones in the market, it's your it's your business and you will mind it by itself. My advice for you is to buy genuine pass and always make sure.
to do the right thing at the right time please share this video comment make sure you like my video one thing i like about those who like my video i've seen everything you know, everything that is going on i've seen it if i go to my youtube studio i check those who like my video share my video and comment and i know i know all of you guys so what i want to say is thank you and god bless you for having time to watch my video also comment and like if you like my video it allow youtube to recommend my videos to other channels other people to to to, to go viral for world to discover me so like my video and so that other people can also discover my videos to watch it that is the main purpose of liking my video if you like my video you are a true fan of me and god bless you for doing that i thank you for my new subscribers and those who have subscribed i mean for very long time i say god bless you